The mass airflow sensor is necessary for the proper operation of car engines. The engine control module receives the information about how much air is entering the car's engine and uses it to determine how much fuel should be injected into the engine through the fuel injectors. Sadly, it occasionally happens that the MAF sensor wears out or malfunctions. In this video, we will discuss the signs of a bad MAF sensor, where to find it, and how much a replacement will cost. We will start with bad mass airflow sensor symptoms. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Check Engine Light Illuminates The engine control module keeps an eye on all of the engine's sensors to make sure everything is in working order. The ECM or PCM will activate the check engine indicator light if a sensor sends a false signal. Therefore, your dashboard's check engine light will turn on if your MAF sensor is malfunctioning and sending incorrect information to the engine control unit. As a result, one of the most typical signs of a bad mass airflow sensor is a check engine light. Although there may not always be an engine light on your dashboard, a bad MAF sensor may still exist. This is because the engine control module does not always recognize a bad MAF sensor. However, if your check engine light is on, you should use an OBD2 scanner to check the diagnostic trouble codes first. Slow acceleration. For optimum performance, the combustion chamber of your engine must have the ideal air-fuel ratio. One of the strange performance issues your car may experience as a result of a malfunctioning MAF sensor is slow acceleration. There is a good chance that this device is broken if you notice that your car is moving much more slowly than usual. Hesitation, rough or jerky acceleration. As you might have guessed, faulty fuel injection brought on by a subpar MAF sensor can also cause jerky or rough acceleration. This typically occurs when the air-fuel ratio is too lean and the car's engine starves from a lack of fuel, which results in jerking. If the air-fuel mixture is too rich, the spark plug's ignition may also be extinguished, which results in jerky acceleration. Hard starting condition. It's possible that a defective air mass sensor is the root of your car's difficulty starting in the morning if you've noticed this trend. All automobile engines are extremely sensitive to the right airflow mixture when they are first started. Your car might start slowly or not at all if the engine is currently receiving the incorrect amount of fuel injection. Black smoke from exhaust pipe. Black smoke coming from the exhaust pipe is a clear indication that your engine is receiving excessive fuel compared to air. Therefore, there is a high likelihood that your engine runs too rich if you notice that a lot of black smoke is coming from your exhaust pipe, which could be caused by a bad MAF sensor. If your engine runs rich, you may also notice a little bit more gray smoke coming from the exhaust pipe than usual. Your catalytic converter, which is very expensive, could also be harmed by this, so you should definitely get it fixed right away. Rough idle. When a car is starting and idling, the most vulnerable time for engine issues occurs. Therefore, it is very likely that issues will arise even when the engine is idle. There is a significant chance that your MAF sensor has failed if your idle recently started to become extremely rough or if the engine is stalling. Misfires When one or more cylinders fail to burn the fuel, a misfire happens. The engine needs the proper air-fuel ratio, ignition, and compression to burn the fuel properly. As a result, if the air-fuel mixture greatly deviates from the specifications, it may result in one or more cylinders not igniting at all, which will result in the engine igniting improperly and resulting in a misfire. Misfire-related trouble codes may indicate a malfunctioning mass airflow sensor. Change fuel consumption. The fact that a bad MAF sensor is causing a bad air-fuel mixture makes this last symptom the most obvious, probably. Therefore, fuel consumption may increase or decrease as a result of a malfunctioning MAF sensor. You might believe that less fuel consumption is a good thing, but in reality, it can harm your engine and raise your maintenance costs. MAF Sensor Location The large hose between the air filter box and the intake manifold, which is frequently mounted on the air filter box, contains the MAF sensor. The location of the sensor varies depending on the manufacturer because they fit the sensor according to the engine design. To locate it precisely, consult a repair manual or conduct a quick search online. For a hint on where it should go, look at the pictures. Diagnosing a failing mass airflow sensor. Before deciding to replace the MAF sensor, it is crucial to make the proper diagnosis because MAF sensors are frequently quite expensive. Knowing what to look for can often make diagnosing fairly simple. However, you need accurate measured values for your particular car engine and model, which you can find in a repair manual, in order to correctly diagnose the device. Connect an OBD2 scanner and check the live data from the MAF sensor on idle. It should be zero milligrams. Start the car, then check the MAF sensor readings once more. If the value is stable, there may be an issue with your diagnostic tool, MAF sensor, or the wirings to it. 
It should increase when you rev the engine and decrease as the engine RPM decreases. Take out the MAF sensor plug, then inspect it for corrosion. For measurements of the sensor and its wirings, consult your repair manual. If the MAF sensor is defective, clean it, replace it, or fix the wiring. Replacement cost. Depending on the car model and labor cost, the average cost to replace a MAF sensor ranges from $140 to $550. Costs for labor range from $40 to $150 when using a mass airflow sensor, which costs between $100 and $400. The MAF sensor is frequently quite expensive because you occasionally have to replace the entire sensor housing. Fortunately, changing Thay's part is typically very simple and takes only 10 minutes for most car models. If you only have a basic understanding of cars, you can frequently do this yourself.